Back here at home now, new at five, the Ottawa Hills Local School District is going to court. The district is requesting the state Supreme Court certify its November levy proposal. That proposal was rejected by the Lucas County Board of Elections. Michael Sandlin spoke to the superintendent today about why the district says it needs this levy and what it will take to get it on the ballot. Ottawa Hills Local Schools is on the rise. Their student population has grown at an unprecedented rate and the district says it needs more teachers, resources and supplies just to stay afloat. But its options are limited. Due to the makeup of our district and the state funding formula, we don't get additional funds from the state level when we add students. Um, so that's very unique for school districts in Ohio. So the only way to be able to bring in funds to support our staff at the levels that we have is through an operating levy. So a 12.9 mil operating levy was written up. And the district worked to get it on the November ballot by submitting it to the Lucas County Board of Elections three weeks before the due date. But there was one problem. So there was an error, uh, a typo that was uh, turned in when we filed um, to be on the ballot. The number was from a different millage. So it was, I think, 382 and it should have been 451. Dr. Fineski calls it a small mistake, but one that had a landslide consequence with the BOE. The Lucas County Board of Elections voted three to one against the placement of the Ottawa Hills school levy on the ballot based on advice from our legal counsel. While the board never likes having to keep issues or candidates off the ballot, the Lucas County Board of Elections must follow all state laws and directives. And to make matters worse... We turned that in three weeks in advance. Um, it wasn't until a week after the deadline that the Board of Elections informed us of that. If we would have known, we could have corrected it. So on Monday, the Ottawa Hills School Board took action into its own hands. Motion to approve the resolution as presented. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 The district just approved sending a writ of mandamus to the Ohio Supreme Court, a form essentially telling the court that the Board of Elections is shirking their duty and asking the judges to supersede the Board of Elections and put their levy, this time without the typo, on the November ballot. And the voters of Ottawa Hills deserve the opportunity to say yes or no and define the future of their school district. Dr. Fineski says they expect to hear the results back within the next two weeks. In Ottawa Hills, I'm Michael Sandlin for WTOL 11.